guys threw last night. Bunch of guys are gonna have to throw tonight. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 through verse 8. BibleGateway.com, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not true, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. Shalom, first and foremost, let me give all praises and glory and honor to <coughs> I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders of Great Millstone for preaching the word truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. It's gathered through the four corners of the globe, which the Lord uh, truthfully and sincerely as well, too. I'm going to say Shabbat Shalom. And yeah, this is a news article from uh, MiamiHero.com. And this is published uh, June 15, 2023, at 11.55 p.m., published by Hung Jin Kim and Kim Tong Hung uh, from the Associated Press. This was published by them. And it reads, a U.S. guided missile submarine arrives in South Korea a day after North Korea resumes missile tests. It says uh, the United States deployed a nuclear-powered submarine capable of carrying about 150 Tomahawk missiles to South Korea on Friday, a day after North Korea resumed missile tests in protest of the U.S.-South Korean live fire drills. The USS Michigan's arrived in South Korea, the first of its kind in six years. It's part of a recent bilateral agreement <coughs> on enhancing regular visibilities of U.S. strategic assets to the Korean Peninsula in response to North Korea's advancing nuclear program, according to the South Korean officials. It says, with the deployment of the U.S., Michigan, the U.S., and South Korean navies are to conduct drills on boosting, boosting their uh, special operation capabilities and joint abilities to cope with growing North Korea nuclear threats, the South Korean Defense Ministry said in a statement. And it says, uh, the U.S. submarine arrived at the southeastern port city of Boston but didn't say how long it will stay in the South Korean waters. The USS Michigan is one of the biggest submarines in the world. The Ohio-class guided missile submarine can be armed with 150 Tomahawk missiles with a range of about 2,500 kilometers and 1,550 miles and is capable of launching special force missions according to the South Korean statement. The South Korean and U.S. military has been expanding their exercises and reactions to North Korea provocation runs of missile tests since last year. North Korea has argued it was forced to ramp up its test activities to deal with its rivals, expanding military drills that is viewed as an invasion rehearsal. But experts say the North Korea ultimately aims to modernize its arsenal and increase its leverage in eventual diplomacy. Bring out that scripture again for edification's sake. And I'm going to start at verse 7. Matthew 24 and 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. I'm going to read verse 6 again as well, too. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So this is another sign of uh, wars and rumors of wars, as it says again. 
U.S. guided missile submarine arrives in South Korea a day after North Korea resumed missile tests. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of this recent news article from the uh, Miami Herald, uh, updated June the 16th, 2023, at 12.16 a.m. As it is once again, U.S. guided missile submarines arrive in South Korea a day after North Korea resumes missile tests. So with that, Shabbat Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Bokar Kadash. Shalom to the elders, a great millstone for pushing the world truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, pushing the world truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And Shalom to the Akwaf, uh, Israelite sisters as well, too. And so with that, I will say uh, Shabbat Shalom.